Hello again, this is Washington Red Bear. Um, I have another pack that I wanted to show you. Uh, this is a 511 pack. They have three sizes. They have a 12-hour pack, a 24-hour pack, and a 72-hour pack. If I remember correctly, this is the, the mid-size. This is the 24-hour pack. Um, I've had it sitting out in the garage. Uh, I actually bought it with some uh, cash that I had saved up. Uh, with the last business that I had, we got uh, uh, points, and I left them, and so I cashed them in, and I bought a few things, and this was one of the big items that I bought. Uh, so I was sitting out in my garage, and I wanted to do something with it, and I didn't know exactly what, so what I did was I put all of my cookware in it. And I just want to go through that and show you what I have in here, and uh, explain to you what I have and we can get to it some other time as far as actually using it. Um, this is a spork, foon, spoon, and knife plasticware that I bought recently. In here I have a Spyderco knife. I love Spydercos. Uh, I don't remember exactly which one this one is. Um, the Clip It, I think it is. A uh, long, skinny, thin blade, great for filleting. And then down at the bottom, it's got like an inch and a half of serration. Uh, as I stated, I love serrated knives, but I have this in here for cooking, uh, for cleaning up meat, filleting fish. Uh, I have a packet. Uh, we came across country one time and stopped at a bunch of Walmarts. Uh, my wife was sick and she needed to get out. And so uh, at one of their clearance racks, uh, they had this pop-up uh, bowl and cup. Uh, so I've got a couple of these that I bought, uh, one for her pack and one for mine. Uh, but they kind of collapse and fold up together once you get them to work right. But uh, I have that in here for drinking and also uh, eating my grits out of or uh, soup or if I wanted whatever you want to put in here you can do so and then again like I said in my other videos I have everything in plastic bags Ziploc bags one it keeps it clean keeps other things dry keeps it uh, together and easy found but again you have just more storage compartments uh, bought these fire sticks uh, we have a discount uh, it's a, called like a toy store. It's, it's got men toys in it, guns, fishing, hunting, and then it's got kid toys in it. Uh, and they had these fire sticks for $2, uh, waterproof from Coglins. And I figured, hey, for $2, I'll get them, put them in my pack. Can't really go wrong with those. Uh, I also have another small roll of duct tape um, and some exam gloves in that little small compartment. Uh, up here, I have a another fire starter. It's a fire disc from Coglins, dollar and a half. Can't beat it. This will fit great on my stove uh, for fire. This is another item that item that we bought coming across country at the Walmart clearance. It's a waterproof container, but it's also had a first aid kit in it. Uh, I added a lighter to it. Uh, added some uh, fishing gear, some sinkers. It's got, it's, I also put in some uh, floss, but it had a magnesium strip, a can opener, a whistle, a small roll of duct tape. Uh, there's another lighter in here, some waterproof matches, uh, and some more fishing gear, and I think there's some band-aids in the back. Uh, but because this is just a pack, I wanted to have another little small um, survival kit in there, and so I just went ahead and dropped it in. Uh, this pack's light. It uh, doesn't weigh much of anything, and because like I said, all it has in it is my cooking gear. Uh, up in the top here, I have a headlight. Uh, different modes on it. Dim, high, and flashing, and I've got to restring this. It came apart. Uh, there it goes. So I've got just a headlight up in this top zipper compartment. And then in the main compartment, 
like I said, this is not a go bag. Uh, this is strictly cooking gear. Uh, in this top zippered compartment, I've got a small Isbit type of stove. Again, I got this from the White Elephant. Um, it's got uh, 24 of the fuel tabs in it, and it folds up. Uh, very nice and neat that you can put your cook fire on it. Uh, in this next zipper compartment. Uh, when I did my solo camp, and I've got a video on that, I needed uh, some camp cleaning equipment. And so I bought this again at that uh, White Elephant. Uh, inside it, it's got a camp towel. It has a little small spatula, a little small uh, wire whisk, and then a sponge uh, with a yellow and a green scrub pad. And uh, I've added a salt and pepper shaker to it and a bottle of camp soap uh, in that compartment. And that's in the second zippered compartment. Again, this is strictly for camping. Uh, this is a, a bag that I took found at Goodwill and it was actually in a book bag. Uh, inside it I have two of the 70% I think 70 cent propane and 30% butane or if I got that backwards. But it's uh, Coleman and it's the fuel that I need there is there. Uh, 70, 70 butane, 30% propane. Uh, but that goes with my small stove that I have. It's kind of like the, uh, uh, what do you call that? Pocket rocket. I think this one's larger than the pocket rocket. But that screws down onto your canister. And then these spin around like the pocket rocket. This has only got three. Pocket rocket's got four. And then it's got the burner down there. Um, very nice stove. Like I said, it's larger than the pocket rocket. But um, I'm not worried about being a minimalist or anything like that. And then I also have a container in here that I bought at Walmart uh, with different spices. There's salt, pepper, garlic salt cayenne pepper, um, curry, paprika. Um, and so it's just something that I have in here. Uh, it fits nicely. Might be more than I'd ever use, but this is for cooking and, you know, make things taste better. Uh, in here I have a couple of the small metal water bottles. Again, I picked these up at the uh, Goodwill or thrift stores, usually 99 cents. Uh, they're great to have along. Uh, inside here I have a Stanley bottle. Uh, great little container. Uh, inside here I have three bottles of alcohol and then the alcohol stove that I made uh, thanks to Jujitsu. I think it's 2000. Uh, I used his idea on making a stove and again on my camping video I show this being in use. Uh, that fits down perfectly. Uh, in here I do have two rubber bands on it and a small carabiner just to hold the rubber bands together uh, because there is a small lid that you use for putting the fire out and another lid for cooking and so that holds them together and they fit perfectly down inside there and then my three alcohol bottles I just have them in a towel or a small face cloth uh, they fit down inside of that and then the lid uh, screws down and gives me a complete cook kit right there. Uh, I'm sure you've seen videos on, on this. It's, you can turn it upside down, the green portion of it, and have a cup. Uh, but you also use it as a water bottle, uh, but it holds my complete alcohol stove. And then down here in the bottom, I have a couple of stoves. Uh, this, if you look down below, I've got a video on making the pot cozies. Uh, my youngest daughter and I made these one day. Uh, I've got a stainless steel pot. Uh, inside of this, I have the other uh, green bowl and cup. And I have a handle that goes on the stove. I mean, for the pot. 
and that goes inside of the pot cozy. And then the last thing I have in here is my cup. Again, this is just from Walmart, stainless steel cup. I've got just a little green uh, rag in between them so they don't rattle. Uh, I've got another Stanley pot here. And this one has got two cups. Uh, don't know if I would use them. I have other cups, but they're in here. Haven't really decided what else to do. And then I've got another bottle of alcohol uh, that I had left over. Uh, that fit in here. And so that was this cook kit. And again, this is just something that all of my cook stuff is together. And that way if I need it, I can just grab this bag and go. Uh, I can use it uh, for, if I need to take my bag, I can separate stuff. I can put this in my truck. Uh, and then if something happens, I've got it with me. Uh, if we did take a trip or anything, I would do that because that's what we usually do. I usually pack up my truck really hot and heavy with items. And so I'll do a video uh, sometime on everything that I have in my truck uh, and what I carry in it. Uh, but like I said, this is strictly just a cooking bag that I can grab and uh, have items with me. Uh, like I said, when I went camping, I just took parts of it and uh, took it up there for the camp. Uh, if I have it in my truck, I can grab it out and use it as necessary. Um, so anyway, I just want to share you share that with you. I know people are going to complain and, you know, and ask, well, why in the world do you have it like this and not in your packs? Again, I have, it, have them set up for that. I usually have the items with me um, in my packs. So that's how it is. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe. Uh, watch my other videos. Uh, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you very much.